Hi guys, Michelle from Wallawa TV and we've got a Christmas recipe to warm the heart of Santa Claus and get those reindeers pumped for their Christmas run. Pumpkin filled with cranberries, dried apricots and baked with pepper and basil. These simple ingredients will give you and your family a Christmas to remember. A unique recipe that starts off with a large pumpkin. We use the large pumpkin, uh, we, put, or we cut into the, uh, the pumpkin, try and get as close to the center as uh, much as you can, um, put the knife in and then uh, do diagonal cuts into the top of the pumpkin and then remove the top of the pumpkin. Um, you'll find that obviously uh, there's a lots of seeds and veins inside, we need to clean that out and remove as much of that as possible. So using a knife, um, we can actually cut away the the seeds and the veins. Um, we don't want it to look like this. We want to remove everything from from the pumpkin. We want a hollow pumpkin inside. So uh, with a knife, take off as much of the seeds of the top, and using a spoon, just take out the pumpkin seeds and the veins. So. Uh, if you want to, you can try and uh, regrow the pumpkin in your garden. If you have a, a big garden, um, don't waste the seeds. Or you can roast them um, or light or shallow fry them and you can uh, have them as a healthy snack. So once you've done that, um, we want to make sure that everything is out of the pumpkin. So now that your pumpkin is ready, uh, we want to actually prepare one large onion and one large garlic. So basically uh, we want to slice or dice the onion, it's up to you. Um, this is uh, going to be in this proportion where we use half of the onion in the pumpkin while we're boiling it and half of it when we're actually going to bake it. So uh, you'll see in a minute we're actually going to put um, the uh, half the onion inside the pumpkin and half the garlic inside the pumpkin while it boils. So we want to fill up the pumpkin with water as well as having water on the outside. So you fill up the water just so it just covers the tops of the pumpkin. Um, you put half the onions inside the pumpkin um, and then half the garlic as well. So when, the, when we are boiling that, um, you will actually get that uh, flavor of onion and garlic inside the pumpkin, not just on the uh, on the outside one we're baking it. So it should look something like this. The water should be inside and outside the pumpkin. It's okay if it's not covering the entire pumpkin. So once you've done that, you take everything out and using a colander um, or a strainer, you pour the water and the onion and garlic out. So we're going to end up back with an empty uh, pumpkin, but we've used that flavor to run through the inside of the pumpkin. We've boiled it for only about half an hour. Now we're going to put back in the other half of the garlic and the onion into the pumpkin, um, and then slice up or chop. Um, it's up to you. Um, I like it sliced. Um, you can use it sliced or diced. Uh, the dried apricots, put about uh, half a cup to one cup. This will take out a lot of the sweetness um, from the pumpkin, um, and especially when you use cranberries, um, they're a little bit sour, uh, a little bit sweet. So we're using two cups of cranberries uh, and uh, one cup of um, apricots. So put that all inside. Um, at this point, you can actually put a spoonful of stock liquid um, if you have a pre-made one or if you've got some juice from your turkey um, you can pour it inside but we've left it without anything um, to actually show you that you can cook um, this type of dish without actually putting any liquid inside the pumpkin now cover the pumpkin with butter um, I've just used two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I've rubbed it all around the pumpkin so that the uh, dried herbs will stick on it. So I've just used um, some bay leaves. Um, this is completely up to you and this is optional. Uh, it doesn't actually uh, add too much, uh, make any difference to the flavor of the pumpkin um, by adding those bay leaves, but we just thought it would be a nice decoration anyhow. Uh, sprinkle your dried herbs, we've used basil and cracked pepper. Uh, this will give that aroma. You've got the garlic and onion inside with fruits. Now, this is a pandan leaf. 
um, you probably uh, might not find it in, in local stores, but if you look in the Asian uh, markets, uh, you, you'll find it will be there in the frozen section. This has got such a beautiful aroma. Um, it probably won't be enough to flavor the whole pumpkin, um, but it will give you that nice um, aromatic scent while you're baking. Completely optional. You don't actually have to use it if you don't want to. Um, bake in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes on 200 degrees. And there you have it, a magical pumpkin filled with cranberries, apricot, with aromatic herbs and spices to start your holiday season with a family moment you will never forget. If you want to decorate it with edible flowers, this is the best way to go. At this point, you can add some cream uh, over the top while it's hot. This is Walawa TV and you're cooking with me, Sean. Sure.